um, Salman Kitololo and I'm here again with uh, Out of the Blue. Somebody asked me about the last video, well, you mentioned Joan of Arc here and there. Who is Joan of Arc? Well, we, a lot of us know that Joan of Arc is a French girl who, at least uh, mythologically, helped the French army to win a battle against the British or to win several battles against the British so that finally France was freed from the British to the extent that they crowned a king, Charles VII, and a few other things happened. And she was killed at the stake at 19 years old after doing all these things. Well, I went to Wikipedia and did the whole, you know, uh, research thing to get the actual essence of the story of Joan of Arc because the most interesting thing about Joan of Arc was her claim that everything she did she did because she had seen visions of the Archangel Michael, visions of Saint Margaret and uh, Catherine of Alexandria. That's another saint. Now, I'm not Catholic, so I don't know all these saints, but I do know the Archangel Michael. He's a big angel, does the fighting in heaven. And the essence of her visions wasn't the religious nature of them being about angels. But the practical nature, she claimed that these visions communicated to her that she needed to be by Charles VII's side if he was going to be crowned. He was an uncrowned king at the time. If he was going to be crowned and if he was going to win a victory against England, she needed to be at his side. She claimed that she got during her trial before she was killed by the English, she claimed that she got these visions starting when she was 13. I'd like to read what Joan said when she went to the town of Vaucluse. Uh, sorry French people, I don't know how to say some of these French towns, but when she first went to be taken by the army garrison to the royal court of Charles VII, she said this. According to the soldier, Jean de Metz, who was one of the soldiers who took her to the royal court of Charles VII, she is recorded to have said, of course it's an English translation, she was French, I must be at the king's side. There will be no help for the kingdom if not from me. Although I would rather have remained spinning wool at my mother's side, Yet must I go and must I do this thing, for my Lord wills that I do so. Now, of course, when you talk about visions of this kind, it sounds like a, a weird religious uh, experience that happens to Christian fanatics, Muslim fanatics, and crazy weirdos. But if you look at Steve Jobs, and the kind of vision he had, which we'd call a completely secular affair, he saw a world where digital tools, computers and so on, would transform society because they'd be in the hands of the most ordinary people. This is the same kind of vision, of course, as what she saw, because in spite of all the religious drapery around it, it was very specific. She saw that she needed to be by the side of Charles VII if he was to succeed in ruling France. Well, the rest of it is history. She found a way to gain the credibility of the army and she was at most battles carrying an, a, a banner. And as long as she was at the battle, they were re historians agree that there was a remarkable amount of success enjoyed by the French army against the British. They accepted something was working for John. I would like to suggest that this experience she had with visions is what made her so confident and what gave her the idea to leave her peasant status and go and stand beside King Charles VII and help him win a kingdom. That, my friends, is the power of vision. 
That, my friends, is what vision can be for us. It can make us do things we'd never imagine or expect because now that we've seen them, they are possible. Now that we've imagined them, we are energized to get them. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video with friends. And I'll see you next time here on Out of the Blue, where we're talking about an enterprise revolution.